What's up, y'all? It's Coach Ryan. Uh, today is Thursday, April 2nd. Uh, this will be the live workout. So if you are viewing this on YouTube or later in the day, make sure you skip to about the four minute, 4.30 mark. Uh, that's when I actually start the workout. Just doing the check-in live here to start this video. If you are doing this workout live, okay, make sure that you have your water bottle, towel. You don't need any extra equipment. A couple optional things that you may need. A mini band, you have a mini band, all right? You can use a mini band for the floor block. Um, you can also use an elevated object like a chair, bed, couch, whatever, um, as an option for some of the exercises that will be our interval workout. But they aren't necessary. You don't need anything in this workout, but those are two optional things that you may want to have. Mini band, you have one, and an elevated surface. We'll get started in about four minutes or so. All right, hopefully everybody's doing well. All right, everybody that's checking in right now. Uh, a lot of fun today. I'm very excited about today's workout. Heart rate should be up uh, in today's workout, interval training workout, so it will be a lot of fun um, today's workout. I'm very, very excited about today's at-home workout. Hopefully everybody likes my, my outfit that I got going here. I don't know, it's hard to see. I got the blue, the blue theme going on today. Blue and black, okay? I try to look good for you all out there in internet land. So you're welcome, okay? A few more minutes, like I said, if you're just checking in, uh, you don't need anything for this workout. Uh, optional mini band, optional elevated surface, uh, but you do not need anything in this workout. But your body and your smiling faces. Smile, right? There we go. Hi, Blue Man. That's right. That's right. I got the I got the outfit going for you, right? So uh, you know, <laughs> you can't say Coach Ryan doesn't look good, okay? I'm styling and profiling as we work out today, right? About another minute or so team, and then we'll go ahead and get started. Make sure if you want to have the workout, the actual OTF at home workout, playing on another device, uh, make sure you have that up. Remember, there'll be no music in the feed. Uh, so if you want your own music, make sure you have that queued up also on another device as we work out. Okay, but I won't have music in this workout video uh, because the video will get muted, okay? team it's about that time it's around I got 12 o'clock on my watch okay so good afternoon everybody again I'm coach Ryan uh, today's workout will be interval training so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna have blocks of work that will kind of mimic 
how treadmills will feel, push, base, all out. Um, it's not an actual treadmill, but it will give us the actual feel of uncomfortable, challenging, but doable, and very uncomfortable for the all out efforts, okay? So we'll have five blocks of work today. We will have a stretch, all right, a stretch and a cool down and a warm up at the ends of the workout. And then we will have three working blocks, two interval training workouts or two tread blocks with a floor block in between, focusing on the legs and the core, okay? So the first, we're gonna start out with a three minute warm up. We're gonna demo the exercises and then we will get right into it. Each exercise for warm up will be done for a minute, okay? We will start with hip rotations. So you're gonna stand nice and tall. We're gonna do 30 seconds each leg. We're gonna take one leg and externally rotate. So rotate the knee toward the outside or away from your body and then bring it back in, okay? So out and back in. We're gonna keep alternating those for 30 seconds each leg, a minute total. If you need something to hang on to for balance, do it. It's about opening up those hips, not about balancing, okay? Your second exercise for one minute, Caustic squats, which is basically an alternating static lateral lunge. So legs wide, try to keep your toes as straight as you can, and then you're gonna lunge toward one side, shoot the hips back, keep the chest up. We're gonna alternate the side you lunge away from, okay? That leg is straight, and we're trying not to rotate the shoulders too much, try to keep your shoulders as square as you can, okay? As an option, you can reduce the range of motion. You don't have to come down as far. Next, we're gonna roll into alternating reverse lunges. So start out set position, shoulders down and back, trunk muscles tight, hips and glutes tight. We're gonna take one leg, we're gonna pretend like your feet are on railroad tracks, and step backward, reverse lunge position. Again, nice set position, front knee is not past the toes, knees over ankles, and we're gonna alternate sides, all right? One minute. Now, as an option, you can reduce the range of motion, you don't have to come down as far. If you have any issues, work feet issues with the knee, we're gonna squat it out for a minute. And then finally, jumping jacks for one minute. Your feet start together, your hands are at your sides, and then when the legs go out, the hands come up. As an option, you can step it out one leg at a time, okay? So there won't be any built-in transition time. I will give you a countdown, and then we'll go right into the next exercise. We're gonna do this for four minutes, four exercises, a minute a piece, okay? So let's get set. We're gonna get ready for those hip rotations from one side in three, two, one, let's roll. Let's warm it up. So out and back in, okay? We're gonna stay on this same leg, alternating between externally rotating, rotating out and back in, okay? Core muscles tight, stay up nice and tall. Got about 10 more seconds. Remember, if you need to hang on to something for balance, you can do it, okay? And we're gonna switch sides in three, two, and let's switch sides. Out, back in. Out, and back in. This is the time where we're starting to loosen up a little bit, get blood flow going to the working muscles. That's the point of these warm-ups. We don't wanna jump right into it, okay? Because that may hinder your performance and may also increase your chance of injury. That's why we warm up every time before we start. We're gonna hit the Cossack squats in three, two, and one. Legs wide, alternating lateral lunges. Remember, you shoot your hips straight back, okay? Try not to keep rounding the shoulders. Try to keep your shoulders as square as you can. We're gonna alternate side to side, okay? All throughout, my chest is up. Again, I shoot my hips straight back, just like a regular squat, okay? We're here for a minute. Remember the option, reduce the range of motion. You'd also take these to a squat as well if you have any orthopedic issues. You've got about 30 seconds, we're halfway. This is the time to breathe. Not trying to move quickly here. Nice and controlled movement. We're gonna have plenty of opportunity to move quickly today. All right. Now, we're gonna move alternating reverse lunges. Three, two, and one. Alternating reverse lunges, remember set position. Your feet are on railroad tracks. Nice and controlled. Okay, step backward. Remember as you step back for a lunge, keep your chest up, shoulders down and back, 
knees over ankles, notice my knees over my ankles, not over my toes, okay? For a little arm movement, whatever leg is out, that opposite arm goes up. Nice and controlled, we're about halfway. Beautiful. Hopefully everybody's having a good day so far. Days will get better. Trust me, when we get to this work, we got about 15 seconds before we head to jumping jacks. Nice control, take your time here. Again, we've got plenty of time to move fast for this workout. Jumping jacks in three, two, and one. One minute. Jumping jacks, keep those heart rates up here. Remember, as an option, one leg out at a time as an option here. Here we go, taking it back. Elementary school is in. Warming it up a little bit. Simple, yet effective exercise to get the heart rates up slightly. About 30 more seconds, and then we're really gonna rev it up. Hopefully you all are ready. I'm excited about today's workout. Can't wait. Hopefully you all are excited too. Got less than 15. In three, two, and time. Shake it out a little bit. I'm in that green zone. I got my mind running. Okay. So finding that green zone and that warm up. Now, our working text today, okay? We're gonna have three blocks of work, two treadmill blocks, so two interval blocks with the floor block in the middle, okay? Now we're gonna roll into our first five minute treadmill block, okay? The way this will work, we will have a minute of a particular exercise. So think of it as a push, base, push, base, one minute all out, okay? Your push exercise is the speed skater lunges. The first push, I want you to count your reps. The focus is stability on one leg. We're gonna drive from one side for one, two, three as an option, step, knee drive. If you're having problems maintaining stability or you're shaking a little bit, shorten up your step or take that option, okay? It's about stability on that one leg. That's the push exercise. Your base pace exercise for this block and the next tread block is just a march in place. We're staying movement, but this is the challenging but doable effort, okay? And then we're gonna do another speed skater push, another march in place base, and the all out exercise to end this block for one minute will be, you guessed it, burpees, okay? Set position, hands on the chest, butt down, we expose the feet toward the hands, and jump it up each rep. As an option, okay, you can take the calf raise instead of the jump and bring those arms up. You can also walk your feet down and back. Another option, burpee is a fantastic exercise. Works the whole body. If you have an elevated surface for any orthopedic issues with the shoulders, you can have your hands on that elevated surface. So I don't want you to shy away from the burpee, okay? Use those options. Again, if you have that elevated surface, you can use that for the burpee as well, okay? So I'll give you all about 15 seconds. If you want to queue up the OTF workout on another device, you can. But once I start, we're gonna get moving, okay? So remember, speed skaters is your push, and I want you to count your reps. We're gonna do this for a minute. One minute speed skater push, one minute march in place base. Push in three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, count your reps. Try to stay with me if you can. If you wanna go a little bit faster, you can. But remember, okay, you're not going too far, it's all about stability. Just like a push, you're trying to feel uncomfortable in this speed skater. 16 for me. 20, one, two, three, four, halfway. Try to count your reps. Eight, nine, four, yeah, bro. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, 
Here we go. Try to keep count. 15 seconds. Two, three. Uncomfortable. Remember the option? Step and knee drive. Here we go. We're almost done with this push. March in place, base in three, two, and one. Base, pace. March in place. Challenging but doable effort. Okay? Challenge. If you want a little bit more here, base. Okay, you can skip. Skip in place for your base pace. You can also add some butt kicks here during your base pace. But again, this is the standard. Catching your breath here, challenging but doable. Remember, if you want a little bit more, add that skip. Opposite arm and knee go up. We're about halfway. Now, hopefully, you counted your reps at that first speed skater push. We're going to roll into another one minute speed skater push and another one minute base. Just like on the tread, the challenge is to add a plus sign. The challenge here is to try to match your beat, your rep count from that first speed skater push. Okay, we take it there in three, two, one, let's push. Okay, speed skater. Okay, there we go. Remember, this isn't too far. You're just trying to move, feel uncomfortable. I challenge you. Try to dial up that tempo a little bit. There we go. Feeling uncomfortable. I'm looking at my monitor. I just hit that orange zone. Hopefully, you're getting close as well. This should feel uncomfortable, okay? There we go, we're about halfway, you got this team, come on. Halfway is a big mental hurdle. This is where we don't turn down. We step it up. Try to keep that tempo. There we go, come on. Work those arms. We got 15. Yes, come on. Hopefully you got that rep kind of mind. Almost there. March in place, base in three, two, one. Base, base. March in place, challenging but doable. Remember, if you want a little bit more, take that skip. So just like in base on the treads, control your breathing. In through the nose, out through the mouth, head up, chest up, nice and controlled. Like base, base on the treads. We're trying to feel like we're getting some relief as we continue to work here. Okay, we're about halfway, you base. And remember, that finish line will be one minute all out. We're burpees. Get your mind right, 15 seconds, and there'll be a one minute burpee all out. Remember, no push up. Standard burpee. If you want a little extra, add the push up at the bottom. One minute all out burpee. In three, two, one, let's roll. Oh, this is it. This block is almost over. This is the all out effort. Very uncomfortable. It's how you should feel. Here we go up. This is where we don't turn down. We turn up. You get some recovery in about 30 seconds. You're halfway. Remember the option. If you have an elevated surface, hands on that elevated surface, walk the feet down the back if you need it, okay? We're almost there, come on, stay with me. We got 15, come on. Oh, almost there. And three, two, and time. Ho! Oh. Nice shot, team. Hit your breath. Look at that. If you can see, I don't know how well you can see, but I'm in the orange zone right now, okay? So catch your breath a little bit. Next, we're gonna move into the floor block. So floor block, four exercises, six minutes long. We're gonna repeat the exercises until time. Now, if you have a minivan, this is where you can put the minivan on for the first three movements, right under the knee joint, the mid-band position, okay? Now, 
minivan isn't necessary. You don't need a minivan, but if you have one, that will be the challenge, okay? First movement, six reps, ISO squat, lateral walk. So, one rep, weight back in the heels as you squat, and we're gonna take one, two, three small steps to one side, one, two, three back. Now notice, my steps aren't big. One, two, three. Look where I'm at in the shot. I don't move very far. That's how small your steps will be, okay? Again, you can do this without the band. Next, squat to lateral leg lift, okay? Weight back in the heels as you squat. When you come up, small movement, straight leg, bring one leg up for one. Switch sides, two, three. Option, stay with 12 squats, okay? Hip bridge for 12 reps is next. If you have a minivan, your goal, keep tension on a minivan. Don't let your knees cave in. Keep outward tension, and then drive the hips and glutes all the way up and back down, okay? Try to keep your back pressed into the floor as you drive the hips and glutes up. Even if you don't have a minivan, pretend that you have one around your legs, okay, to keep that movement, to keep outward tension on that pretend band. And then finally, bicycle crunch for 12. Opposite elbow to knee, other leg straight, and extend it off the floor, and rotate for one, two, three, option, heels planted, opposite elbow to knee crunch. Okay, so again, I'll give you a little bit if you want to queue up the OTF at home workout video as a reference, you can, but like I said, you don't need a minivan. This is just a little bit extra, okay? Let's get set, six minute block. I encourage you to stay with me as much as you can. In three, two, one, let's roll. Iso squat, lateral walk. One, two, three, one, two, three. That's one, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, that's three, one, two, level head, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, small steps, one, two, three, that's five, notice my feet, don't come all the way in, three, one, two, three, that's six, beautiful, shake it out a little bit, Squat the lateral leg lift. Three, two, one. Let's roll. Squat. One leg up to the side from one. <coughs> two. Small range of motion here. Three. Four. That way your anchors stay engaged. Five. Six. Seven. Remember the squat is the option here without the lift. Eight. Nine. 10, two more, 11, 12. Let's get ready for that bridge. Remember, outward tension stays in the band. Challenge, drape a dumbbell or heavy object if you have it across your hips. Let's roll, up and down, one. Up, down, two, up, down, three, up, down, four, up, try to stay with me, down, five, up, down, six, up, down, seven, up, down, eight, up, down, nine, up, down, ten, two more, up, down, eleven, up, and down, twelve, all right? Now we're going to roll to the bicycle, twelve total, six each side, in three, two, one, let's roll, one, stay with me in tempo, two, three, four, five, Six, control the tempo. Seven, makes the core work harder. Eight, not using momentum. Nine, 10, two more. 11 and 12, beautiful. Shake it out if you need to. Again, if you need to take a little breather, you can, but I'm gonna keep on rolling. Go at your own pace if you need to. But I encourage you to try to stick with me as much as you can. Next round, ISO squat, lateral walk. Let's roll. One, two, three. One, two, three, that's one. Notice how small 
my steps are. I'm staying close to the same position, even with three steps. That's three. One, two, three, I'm sorry, that's two. One, two, three, that's three right there. One, two, three, working so hard I can't count. Two, three, that's four, two more. One, small steps, two, three, level head. One, two, three, one more. One, two, three, one, two, three, hold. Those side butts should be burning a little bit. Squat the lateral leg lift. Let's roll. Squat, small range of motion. One, two, three, four. Small lift. Five, that way you don't lose your anchors. Six, throughout the movement. Seven, eight, down, nine, down, 10, two more. Down, 11, down, 12. Beautiful. Back to that hip bridge. Remember, keep outward tension on the band. If you have a dumbbell, drape it across your hips. Let's roll up, down for one. Up, down, two. Up, down, three. Up, squeeze those glutes. Down, four. Up, down, five. Up, down, six. Up, down, seven, up, down, eight, up, down, nine, up, exhale, up, down, 10, two more, up, down, 11, up, down, and 12. All right, right to the bicycle. Three, two, one, let's roll. One, stay with me here. Two, three, four, make the core work here with tempo. Six, seven, Eight, nine, leg fully extended. 10, two more. 11 and 12, beautiful. All right, we got a little less than a minute, team. We're gonna roll right through it, work through the bell, okay? My challenge to you for this ISO squat lateral walk, let's see if we get a little bit lower here on these squats as we walk. One, two, three. One, two, three, that's one. One, two. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, that's three. One, two, three, we got 20 seconds. No more counting, let's just work to the bell. Two, three, one, two, three, 10 more, we got one more rep. One, two, three, one, Two, three, shake it out and time. Beautiful. Shake out those legs if you need to. Grab a drink. We got one more block of work, team, and it's going to be another interval block. So catch your breath a little bit. The only thing that will be different in this tread block is your push exercise. Your push exercise will be squat jacks. Weight back in the heels as you squat. Nice and tall, when you explode up, your feet come together like so. As an option, squat one leg in for one, squat other leg in for two, or speed squats as another option, okay? But again, we're gonna go one minute push, squat jack, one minute base, march in place, push, squat jack, base, march in place, and then one minute burpee all out, okay? Grab a drink. Smile through the fatigue, smile through the pain, right? This is what's gonna make you better. We're gonna go in about 30 seconds, okay? So if you need to queue up the workout on the screen, do it, okay? Again, a push, you should feel uncomfortable. So these first round of squat jacks, count your reps so you have a target for the second push, okay? But again, the goal, regardless of rep count, if you forget your rep count, whatever, you're trying to get uncomfortable and trying to find that orange zone. One minute push squat jack in three, two, one, let's push. So again, count your reps here. Okay? I'm not gonna count out loud, because I wanna coach you through, but count your reps so you have a target, a tangible target for the next push. Okay, if you wanna rev it up, rev it up, but keep that form. 
Don't lose your form for the sake of speeding up. Controlled movement, quality movement over quantity. There we go. Get those heart rates up again. Halfway through push, okay? Not quite feeling uncomfortable? Try to move it up a little bit. Try to get a little bit lower, okay? I'm starting to find that orange zone. I'm almost there. There we go, come on. Chest up, head up, head and neck neutral. Orange in between chin and chest. We got 10 seconds. I'm in that orange zone. Here we go, come on. March in place, base in three, two, and one. Base, base, march in place, opposite arm and knee drive. Get those knees up, okay? Not low, get the knees up. Remember, if you want some extra, skip. Control your breathing, challenging but doable. Coach is in that orange zone. This is the finish line team. This is like the last block on the tread side in class. It's not about how you start, how will you finish, okay? Halfway. The results don't come when you're fresh. The results come working through the fatigue. That's how you get better. Come on. 15 seconds, we're going back to a squat jack push. Remember your goal, match your beat, your rep count, feeling uncomfortable. And we take it there in three, two, one, let's push. Here we go. Back to that uncomfortable feeling. Embrace the uncomfortable, come on. Remember, weight back, head and chest up. Remember that option, squat step, squat step, or speed squat for those options. You got this team, come on. You came this far, don't turn around now. You got this for 30 more seconds, come on. This is where the change happens. You're missing those treadmills, you don't need them. You get it right here, come on. There we go. Come on, we got 15. Can you wrap it up a little bit before we take the base? Here we go, come on. We take it to base. Three, two, one, base. Just like in the tread, try to fight that urge to drop your base. Work to those first 15, 20 seconds. Let the body acclimate to that base base. Just like on the tread. Challenging but doable. There we go. Chest up, head up team. We're almost at that finish. Come on, we're in this together, okay? This is an uncomfortable period all the way around. But like I keep saying, we're gonna make it through better when we get to the other side. Come on. All right. Get your mind right, last minute. One minute all out burpee, and then we're done, and we'll stretch it out. The goal, very uncomfortable, you empty out your tank with whatever option. Three, two, one, let's burpee. This is it, this is the last all out, okay? Just like in class, you don't wanna stop. Even if you go slower, even if you go slower or use those options, that's okay. I want you to keep moving as much as you can for this last minute. Come on. That's a team halfway. Come on. There you go. Come on. We got 15, if you got a plus sign, hit that plus sign. Come on, you got plus signs, hit them. Three, two, and one. Look at that team. If you can see, I'm in that red zone. We're working, baby. That was awesome. Okay, that was probably my favorite at-home workout 
that we had so far. So here's an air fist bump, virtual fist bump, air high five. Okay, now what I want you to do, stay tall for a second, okay? Grab your water bottle, grab your towel, drink, deep breaths, into the nose, out to the mouth. If you need your hands on your hips, do it. Arms overhead to help you recover, do it. But we're gonna let those heart rates come down a little bit. I don't know about you, squad, but I got 10 splat points. And I may get one more, depending on how fast my heart rate comes down. Okay? I'm talking, it's a little bit tougher for me, but hopefully a lot of you found that orange zone in that interval workout, okay? A little bit more, about 30 more seconds, and then we'll get to a stretch. So remember, stay tall, deep breaths, into the nose, out the mouth. Just like in class, we don't stretch right at that moment. We take a second to wipe it down, catch your breath a little bit, let the heart rates come down, okay? That was a good one, team. That was a nice job today, okay? We're gonna start our stretch with the standing chest stretch. So make a goal pose with your arms, bring the elbows down the back, and squeeze in between your shoulder blades, 20 seconds in three, two, one, 20 seconds. Remember deep breaths, into the nose, out to the mouth, you made it team. As we work, smile after the work. Just smile team. All right, you should be proud of yourselves after that workout. Shake it out and relax. Standing quad stretch. So we're gonna take one leg back, Try to drive the knee through the floor. You can take up the opposite side arm, or if you need something for balance, okay, you can hold on to something. 20 seconds each side. Three, two, one, let's roll. Remember, if you need to hang on to something, do it. This is about the stretch, not about balance, okay? And we switch sides in three, two, one. Let's switch sides, 20 seconds. Stay tall, continue that breathing. You made it. Beautiful. In three, two, and time. All right, let's have a seat on your butts. Okay, we're gonna do a seated by twist. So I'm gonna mirror what you're gonna do. So looking at the feed, this should be your left side. Take your left leg, right leg stay straight. Bring the left leg over your right leg. Push that leg to the right. Turn your body to the left, the opposite direction. Okay, 20 seconds, three, two, one, let's roll. Stay up tall. Keep those deep breaths. I'm timing these stretches on purpose. When we stretch, we tend to count faster on our heads. Oh, this workout was tough. This workout is over, I need to go. We don't wanna skip on the stretching team. In three, two, and relax. We're gonna switch sides. Right leg comes over the left leg. Push your right leg to the left. Turn your body to the right. 20 seconds, three, two, one, 20 seconds. Okay, stretching helps to reduce injury, okay? It helps your performance. That's why we don't want to skip out on the stretch. So, so all of you who are notorious for class doing that, you're doing yourself a huge disservice by not staying for the stretch. In three, two, and time. And remember, use the stopwatch. That helps you to be accountable for each stretch for the full amount of time. Figure four stretch to end it, okay? Let's lay down on your back. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my left leg, I'm gonna cross my left ankle over my right knee, 
and then push my left leg out to get a stretch in the side hip and glute of that leg. 20 seconds, three, two, one, let's roll. Now if you want a little bit more in the stretch, reach through and then bring the right knee up and pull it toward your chest if you want a little bit extra in that stretch. We got 15 seconds. Actually, five, three, two, and time. That was 20. All right, switch sides. Okay, right leg, right ankle. Cross over the left knee. Push that right leg out. Remember, if you want some extra, bring the left leg up and pull it toward the chest. Breathe, team. This is the time to cool it down. Let those heart rates come down. We got five more seconds. And three, two, and time. Ho! Oh. Shake it out, team. High fives to your neighbors. All right, social distancing. We're ready for everybody. We are done, team. Okay, so a couple quick things. Uh, I will talk about this a little bit more later today, but remember, Marathon Month is on and popping, our virtual Marathon Month. So you can download the Strava app, join our Run Club, OTF Williamsburg, Run Walk Club. I will explain that a little bit more in the live video today. So I'm gonna go live at 6 p.m. tonight to go over some April announcements uh, and also an informal quick Q&A session since I'll be live, I'd like to see the comments. So if you're available, make sure you check it out to join the live session tonight at 6 p.m. Uh, remember, if you have any questions or anything about this particular workout, leave them in the comments section. I will see them after I post it. And remember, this workout will be posted later on the page and on YouTube, okay? So awesome job today, team. Awesome, awesome interval workout today. Loved it, okay? Remember, stay in school, don't do drugs, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Drive sober, get pulled over, stay alive, don't text and drive, click it or ticket, exit to text it, only you can invent wildfires. Wakanda forever, be a thinker, not a stinker, and don't get arrested, and may the force be with you, and live long and prosper, don't run with scissors, okay, stay away from me, okay, wash your hands, all right, and make like a tree, and leave, get out of here.